Yvonne Jagade apologizes to May Educhi for supporting you's decision to venture into polygamy. Please do not forget to subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up, comment, and share. And please do click on that notification bell so you get notified when I post a new video. If you are new here, please click on that subscribe button, like, comment, and share, and turn on post notification. And if you are a returning subscriber, I say thank you. See the hot on news media. Yeah, I did a video of Ivan Jagede openly supporting you for his decision to take a second wife when she knows the circumstances surrounding it. So because of the backlash that she has been receiving, she came to tender a public apology. So let me read the apology. My apology and clarification on the recent podcast interview, Lagos, Nigeria, June 11, 2024. I, Ivan Jagede, would like to address concern and backlash that have arisen for my recent interview on Honest Bunch podcast where I discuss things related to my latest film on Amazon Prime, A Father's Love. Upon reflecting on the interview, I realized that my words were not articulated in a way that conveyed my true intentions and have been misconstructed as insensitive, particularly towards Mrs. May Educhi, a woman who has endured significant pain and hardship occasioned by a strange marriage. I deeply regret that my comments were perceived as adding to her distress. It was never my intention to cause any pain or disrespect. I am truly sorry. My intention in the interview was to highlight the important societal issue depleted in my film, which tells the story of a man raising four children who are not biologically his own. I was excited to address this societal issue through my film. However, in the process of discussing this theme, my words were misinterpreted. I spoke about my own failed marriage and the struggles of single mothers aiming to shed light on these challenges. I want to clarify that my remark about polygamy were meant to reflect its cultural content and to emphasize that how it is practice is crucial. My goal was to convey that polygamy is part of our culture but what matters is how it is approached. Unfortunately, the message was lost in my articulation. I want to stress that my comments were not intended Tended to trivialize the pains of Mrs. May Educhi or any woman going through similar struggle. I do not claim to have advanced knowledge of the personal circumstances between you, Educhi, and his ex-wife. I aim to communicate that we all make wrong decisions and sometimes those decisions happen in marriages and we should do something about them instead of enduring perpetual pain. In doing something about it, some people separate, some divorce, while some seek the help of professionals. I firmly believe that everyone deserves love, attention, and care, most especially women. I apologize if my statement did not effectively convey this sentiment. I am grateful for the opportunity to clarify my intention and express my sincere apologies to anyone who was hurt by my words. Thanks for your understanding and support. So that was the apology that she posted. If she knew all this, why was she comparing Yul Educhi situation to Ned Wonko situation, which at all totally different. She's only apologizing now because she's getting a lot of backlash because in the interview when she was saying what she was saying, she said a lot of people are going to come after her. She knew that what she was saying deep down is wrong but she still chose to say it. She that could never even stay in her marriage up to six months. She that left. She's having the girls to talk. She did not stay in her marriage up to a year because the husband was keeping money with her and she was the main provider in the marriage. She left. You can imagine what me must have gone through in that her almost 20 years marriage to you a duche so she should not mock the pain that she does not know about so because of this statement that she made about you a duche supporting him her movie people want to be giving it a bad review on Amazon. Yes, they were giving it a bad review. She thought that maybe if this podcast interview comes out, it will make her to trend and the movie will also be trending, but it was not like that. They were giving her a bad review. That's why I say this podcast is what will make and break Nigeria. Because if you go to a podcast, if you are asked certain questions and you don't feel comfortable answering them, just say you don't feel comfortable. And let me let you watch a video of her from the interview also. And just supported her, they pushed her up there. She's doing well. She's been ambassador. She's Earning money, she's looking beautiful every day. Kudos on the That's internet. A strong woman. 
I don't know. You see the way she spoke about Queen May that the public hair patch is selling and all of that. She sounds like a woman who is pained, who is jealous of Queen May, of how she has risen from all these troubles that she went through. She sounds pain because Queen May is receiving endorsement the here and there. She is on posters, billboards everywhere. Is that not Grace? What they thought could break her, it made her. Even her colleague Angela Okori had one or two things to say. Let me read what she wrote. Fed actress with no pair degree. Person go just open mouth while like person when he get diarrhea of the mouth. They insult another woman pain like what the F? Now so this idiot and her useless cohort PRO say their mama the man just for propaganda. Oh well, not every mother is a mother. Not every wife is a wife. Some wives are knives. Even from that podcast, you showed how low and senseless you are. You know some Nollywood girls are used to becoming second wife from snatching people's husbands so it's normal to them as how can a woman that saw mom's bobby for nine months talk like this now you are writing nonsense epistle nobs call pont say you don't hold for nollywood you not blue still not get sense i bet shift make i see human being so that was the comment that angela left under the post really i was not expecting this from even jagged really disappointed even if she apologizes she has already done it she has done it that apology is just it's not going to fix it it's just like a mirror that is broken no matter how you try to fix it you cannot piece it together so what do you think about her apology do you think she's sincere in her apology or you think she's just apologizing because she was being dragged and her movie was being given bad reviews just let me know your thoughts in the comment section below thank you thank you for watching my video please do not forget to like subscribe share and hit the notification bell and please do kindly leave your comments in the comment section below.